In today's video, I'm going to tell you the top three mistakes that most professional Madden players make when playing Madden 18. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and for those of you that this is your first time checking out my YouTube channel, I just want to thank you for taking t the time out of your day to watch one of my videos. Uh, the video is going to be about 5 to 10 minutes long, and today's video specifically, we're teaching uh, a couple things that we can learn from professional Madden players in terms of their mistakes. What do they not do well? Um, what are the things that the really, really, really perfect pro players do well that some of the other professional players, they make mistakes on? So I think there's a lot that we can learn from this and the first mistake that most professional Madden players make is that they are not patient enough over the course of a game. For example, a game is not won or lost in the first five minutes of the game. It's not. Um, there's there's things that can happen, fumbles, hit stick fumbles, um, kick returns. I mean, there's all sorts of things that can happen. But in general, the game is not won or lost. It's not decided. The outcome of the game is not decided in the first five minutes of the game. It's decided in the normally in the last five minutes if you stick around, if you do what I'm going to tell you to do here in today's video. So what most pro players do is something will happen over the course of the first couple minutes, and they'll come out really, really aggressive. They may come out, and they may just blitzkrieg the opponent. I mean... I, I know this is one of my things that I struggle with sometimes is I will try to blitz way too much in the first portion of the game as opposed to trying to feel out where my opponents, what are my opponent's plays, where he, where's he probably going to go, and then kind of uh, adapting based off of that. So anyways, guys, what I'm trying to get at here is it's so critical in Madden to stay patient, to not get bent out of shape when a, a play doesn't go your way or something like that happens. And in my opinion... For the first five to ten minutes, what you want to you want to kind of ease into the game. You don't want to come out and just get really crazy aggressive on the very first couple plays. And the reasoning behind that is because oftentimes your opponent will kill themselves in the first five minutes if you let them. So they will show their entire uh, playbook repertoire. They will show, I mean, pretty much everything that you need to destroy them in the first five minutes of the game if you just pay attention. So, for example, this guy has already shown me two of his go-to formations, and it's really the same thing, halfback wheel. Uh, you'll get some post routes and some different things. But as you can see here, he, he is not being overtly patient. He's just going no huddle. And what a lot of people do is if something bad happens, um, they will run no huddle, and they will try to run as fast as possible, and they won't think about what they're doing. And before they know it, they're at a fourth and 27. Okay, so this is one of the common mistakes that most pro players makes. The second thing that I want to that I want to suggest that most pro players, if 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 this pro player is maybe new to the scene or uh, not quite as experienced as a problem or a skimbo or or someone like that, they'll do this. They will ignore the fundamentals of the game, um, and this is this is something that's really really critical. This is probably one of my major points here. Ignoring the fundamentals, and what I mean by that is they won't do the little things that are are simple but are really groundbreaking when you put it all together. So, for example, they won't read the defense. They won't look at the corners. They won't try to see what's changed, what's moved. They won't run. Um, they'll run more than one play. Um, and, and what I mean by that, they'll run one more, one more than one formation. Um, they'll, they'll try to kind of do a bunch of weird things to, and, and a lot of it is because they're trying to make a name for themselves instead of just trying to win the game, okay? And this is something that's really important to kind of debunk and realize that if you really want to be good at Madden, you can, it's about winning games. It's not about, you know, having the best offense or the best defense. Those are the attractive things, but it's, it's that's not important. What's important is your execution and your fundamentals, and so a couple things that they'll do, they'll they'll make mistakes in the pocket. They'll start dropping back like crazy. And what you'll do is you'll log on and you'll watch some of these games. And it, it's like they're missing the little plays, the little things that can make them really successful. They're just not even doing them. They're ignoring them completely. Um, for example, like right here, this guy's defense showed me man-to-man -man coverage. What I wanted to do was I wanted to run. Uh, a completely different play, but because I have to, I have to identify what's he doing. So 
you know, and this guy comes out in nickel. He's come out in nickel both every play so far. So, so those are the things that people ignore. They won't do this, and you'll watch. And a lot of the reason is because they just don't think about it. They're so busy trying to um, think about other things that are going to make them su successful, like the big things, that they miss these little bitty fundamentals of the game that are so Im imperative to your success. Like, and, and, and what I mean by this is for you guys, what this means is focus on the fundamentals. Focus on... How do I read the defense? How do I react? How do I read the defense post snap? What does what the defense is doing pre snap tell me what they can do post snap? You know what are some of those things? What are some of those critical points? And I have a, a lot of videos on my channel that really focus on trying to help with some of these tactics and tools. So just be on the lookout for that. But really, the key guys is to stay fundamentally sound on both offense and defense. I think offense is actually very important to be fundamentally sound because if you make a mistake on offense, in Madden, especially at the pro level, when you lose a possession, when when you lose a legitimate, like, I'm going to lose this possession, that's one of the worst things that can happen for your game. Um, because what happens is the other player, if he's fundamentally sound, and he goes and drives down and gets a touchdown, now you're down a possession, and because of the clock, because there's not a whole lot of time in these games, it's very difficult to get back in the game. So, anyways, guys, you have to focus on the fundamentals. The third tip, and one of the one of the finer points, in, including the fundamentals, is the fundamentals of clock management in possession count. What I mean by this um, is simply what what pro players do really what 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 the best ones do i mean the best of the best what they do really well is they manage the clock probably better than anyone in the game and a lot of people talk in the nfl about game managers well Peyton manning tom brady all these guys are masters at clock management whether you believe it or not they are and what what most of these great great players do that and this is the common mistake, if they don't do this, they're in trouble, is clock management. And what I mean by that is you have to think through a couple things. You have to think through, number one, how much time do I give him to score? Number two, how much time does it take him to score? And number three, how much time will that leave me? So like in this situation here, if I give him the ball back with about three, three minutes and a half, like right in here is where I would want to give him the ball back, because it's probably going to take him about a minute or so, to get down the field if he goes downfield and your clock situation should change everything about your game it should change the way you play defense it should change it should change the way that you um, I mean it should change everything because for example if you're trying to um, if it, another thing that changes is if you get the ball at half so for example in this game I'm gonna get the ball at halftime and I um, I'm, I'm gonna get the ball at halftime and I'm also if I give him the ball back sometime in the next probably minute, I'm probably going to get another possession because I have three timeouts. He likes to throw the ball. Um, so I can pretty much guarantee that I'm probably going to get one, at least one more possession in this half. Now that should change everything about my defensive play calls. Now my defensive play calls um, are more geared to trying to get him to make a decision, score, um, whatever it may be. And you'll see this oftentimes in – in professional play, they do a really, really, really good job of, of stuff like this in the professional scene. Um, here he just blows a coverage, doesn't even, that was a really bad play call by him coming out and goal line. Another, but, but, and on that, what they'll do too is they're good at taking the game when they need to. So for example, if they're, if it's 17 to 17 and there's two minutes left in the third quarter, you'll see some guys, they clock you out and they'll manage the clock so well that you won't even touch the ball. So using your clock, using um, using all the mechanics of no huddle and chew clock, so both sides of the coin are just really, really imperative as I botch this field goal. It's just really, really imperative that you do that. But anyways, guys, those are the top three mistakes that most pro players make in Madden. If you guys would like more um, videos like this one, then leave me a comment below. Let me know that you enjoyed it. And secondly, if you guys have any questions at all, any videos that you would like to see done, please let me know so that I can uh, get those get those videos done for you. And we will see you guys in the